Okay, so 50 of the Act 4. Perfect. 15 trade rerolls. Even four, five more. And a an emote. Perfect. And look at this shiny Rengoku, bro. What is this? Let's see what we can get with 146 trade rerolls. <laughs> the first thing we get is color, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, we can probably feed everything. I'm not sure if this even works. We're just feeding it food, but let's see. It seems to be working, actually, that you get more than 75. So that's perfect, actually. And there we should have it. Level 50, shiny Rengoku. Wow. And now let's try to get Monarch, I guess. Marksman. Now let's try to go for something better. <laughs> Bro. What? No. No way. I just spent like 10. What? No. I got a shiny Rengoku with Monarch in 10 rerolls. That's crazy. No, what? Bro. Legit. Shiny Rengoku with Monarch. Zero takedowns. We need to uh, Evo this dude. Bro, what is this? Bro, not only did I get a shiny Rengoku, I also got Monarch in like 10. Bro, I'm so sad that I got Monarch on uh, on her and then Deadeye on Igris. And nothing else. And now we got Monarch on shiny Rengoku. That's actually insane. What? Bro, this is insane. Let's do this. Oh my god, this is so nice! This is so nice! What is this? Looks so good, what? We get some stat ships as well. Nah, this is crazy. Rengoku, Purgatory, Shiny, and Monarch. That's actually crazy, what? Let's try to get Tengen and Akaza as well. Akaza is not on banner, but let's get Tengen at least. Let's go, we got the Legendary I didn't have as well. Oh wait, is this another farm? Obito... Man, now Petty resets. I just want Tengen, honestly. Tengen and Akaza, that's all I want. Okay, let's get Tengen now. Yes, Tengen. And let's wait for an Akaza banner as well then. Let's see if we can get a good trade on Tengen as well. Preferably a mythic trait. Hopefully we can get that. Actually, if I get another scholar, I'll level him up with food. Oh, I got solar. Solar is fine. I'll probably keep solar for now. It's not the best, but it is a mythic trait after all. And honestly, solar is not that bad. I think Tengen also has full AoE, so that range is actually gonna be pretty good. So let's evolve Tengen as well. Bam! Okay, we can evolve Tengen as well. Perfect. That's actually insane. Already Tengen and Rengoku. This is insane. Rengoku, Moonark, shiny. What? Okay, let's see here. Uh, Tengen with solar, Evo and everything. Okay, that's pretty good, honestly. For 1,500, 2.3k damage. The SPA and the AoE is not the best though. I would like better. But the big boy is the Rengoku. Let's see this. Placement, 1,750. 10,000 damage! What is this? 10,000! That's more than my Shahayin. And the passive on start is still 30% of the damage is burn. And increases 5% damage. Um, every time you attack the same consecutive uh, enemy or like as consecutive attacks on the same enemy So this on placement is actually insane. We can honestly sell uh, Tengen and only have Rengoku The AoE is line AoE with pretty bad range So that might be a bit bad, but I do also have really bad stats on him I have like A and B So I gotta get some kills with Reng Rengoku and getting him up and only one upgrade It's literally like 50% more damage and his burn damage is still 30% I need to get some money up so I can actually upgrade him as well Okay, he does actually fall off because his SPA is not the best. So let's upgrade him a bit Yeah, he gets Kone AoE at a few upgrades 18,000 Passive, still the same. The damage is insane. He one-shots everything here without a single problem. But the AoE is the problem here. We can just, just use Tengen. And maybe we'll check out some upgrades on Tengen as well. Uh, it's mainly a Rengoku showcase. But Tengen is honestly pretty good. But yeah, this shiny is so nice. Shiny exclusive Rengoku Purgatory with Monarch trait. That's actually so insane. Let's upgrade him once more to the next blazing universe, 30,000 damage, uh, unit passive is still the same, 30,000 damage with uh, circle AoE again, the range is not the best honestly, it's pretty low range, and the AoE is not the best either, but the damage is insane, thinking the 30% of burn damage as well is more than 30,000 damage here, it's gonna be 9,000 extra damage, it's about 40,000 damage, and he's so cheap as well, well mainly because 
I have Monarch on him, but so he, he just has insane damage right now. Scorching, Spirals, yeah, he gets Line AoE with a bit more range now. He He's starting to get a bit more range. The damage is insane, and we really want to get the upgrade requirement to 11 to get our final passive. All right, so we're going to get the ninth form here. Bang. Okay, Circle AoE again, but it's 40 range. That's pretty good range now with the... Bigger circle now, that's good. 60,000 damage, that's excluding the burn. Look at it with the burn. Purgatory Unleashed. This is with uh, upgrade 11 that we just unlocked. Increases burn damage equal to 60% of damage. So just pure uh, burn damage, it's gonna be 60% extra damage just from burn here. So 60% of this, it's so much, it's almost 100,000. Yeah, just slightly below that. And then, enemies hit by attacks are inflicted with Purgatory Flames, making them receive 40% extra burn damage. So it's basically double damage. This is 120,000 burn damage, or damage in total. Every 6.4 seconds, and we can upgrade him once more. 67,000, double that with 6 SPA. His damage is so insane with Monarch. This is actually crazy. And Tengen, returning slashes, he's pretty good out, honestly. The AoE's cone right now, then line, I don't have enough money. The damage is not as insane because it's not Monarch, but Solar Tengen, how many can you have? Three, then maybe Ethereal is better than Monarch anyway. I'm not sure how many placements you have on Rogoku, I didn't even check, but I'm not sure if Monarch or Purgatory or um, Ethereal is better. But either way, I'm keeping Monarch on this one, definitely. Monarch, Shiny, Rengoku, that's actually crazy. Constant resounding slashes. Oh yeah, now he's full AoE. Honestly, with Solar having bigger range and everything like that, this is pretty good. I haven't maxed him yet. He can have 3FM. His passives are more damage from range. Increase uh, dodge chance by 3% with each attack performed. So you can actually dodge a lot of attacks. So he's good against like bosses. And then... He can also scale up on a few uh, big enemies as well. So he's a pretty good boss killer and also full AoE. He's a pretty good unit, Tengen, honestly. But let's not make Rengoku sleep here. Let's have a few Sakura ready. So we can just use uh, Medical Chakra here after he gets uh, put to sleep. But honestly, this should not be a problem. And this with Harker Rin is going to be crazy damage. This is actually insane. And then also, maybe Z or Godly stats, it's gonna be so much better. Right now, we have A and B, so it's gonna be more damage than this as well. But with Rengoku now, story and in general, this is gonna be no problem at all. Legit. Yeah, like, one hit and they're basically dead. I'm gonna use this as well. Oh, you got snared again. I'll do that. Maybe sell uh, her and get another one in case... I need it again. But honestly, yeah, the one shots here are insane. And look at the HP going down. What? Basically one shot it. Wow. And yeah, I just checked. This is also another farm. So, um, wait, is there a difference between these two? Oh, there's only one of them. Wait, uh, oh, and you can't sell him as well. But he is another farm. So you not, can now have two farms. But honestly, I didn't see a big difference between them actually yeah a bit more expensive and more cash i guess let's see how much it is actually and you know while waiting for cash we can just simply put a rengoku down the damage is insane we can spectate it a bit this is so cool though like what is this monarch shiny oh my god this is so nice wow 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 it goes to ten thousand as well Okay, this is better for infinites because you get more money per wave than Speedwagon. But for story, Speedwagon is definitely better, cheaper, and you can have more of them. And it's just better overall. I think uh, this dude is more expensive. But I, I definitely gotta get fortune on him then. And hopefully I don't need to spend many trade rerolls for fortune. I don't want to get a monarch on this one, dude. Please. Blitz? No! Yes, Fortune. Okay, I spent a few of them. But honestly, I have a lot of trade rerolls left, and I already got Monarch on Rengoku and Solar on Tengen, Fortune on the farm. I only need a good trait on Akaza now, and then I'm good for the update, and I already- I have a lot of trade rerolls left, so that's almost pretty good. Let's see. Please! 
What? Nah, nah, this is insane. Random one, I get Z plus, Z and A. What is my luck today? I got a shiny Rengoku with Monarch, Z plus Z, and run roll. Dude, imagine this is godly once I get another 100% worthiness. Okay, I farmed a bit more in Paragon, a bit more worthiness, so it's 100% again. Let's go. Uh, I got a, a again. I'm gonna keep on doing this a few days. Try to get another Z or Godly. It's actually gonna be my best units. And this is Rengoku with my stats right now. Z plus Z and A. Uh, I'm probably gonna get the range up later. And also with the Haruka buff. Now, there. It's maxed 83,000 damage with 5.7 SPA. And, and that doubles because of burn as well. The range is pretty good. And this is so insanely good, and I'm shocked because I haven't had a good unit before. My best unit before was Agris with, like, Deadeye, or Shaheen with Monarch, which isn't even good. So, like, this is so good for me. And just 100% extra damage with the burn. Yeah, this is gonna absolutely destroy any game mode. Okay, here we go. Rui is almost in range. I think next hit... Yeah, okay, look at that damage! The damage is in insane. Let's wake him up as well. Yeah, the damage- oh my god. What? Yeah, let's wake him up again. Yeah, yeah, the damage is just too good. Okay, let's wake him up again. Maybe we need to wake him up even more. I don't know, because he might sleep. But yeah, it just one-shots everything. Maybe two shots, but like, yeah, like, look at this. Yeah, yeah, one-shots. It one shot. literally one-shots. Too, too good, man. But yeah, that's the Shine Rengoku with Monarch uh, showcase. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.